I'm Dr. Kaseba. I teach in the English department. And I'm going to read a piece by Tim Siebels, who's currently the uh, poet, laureate of, poet laureate of Virginia. It's called Me. And it helps if you know Looney Tunes cartoons. <laughs> I used to root for the rabbit in his sneaky quest for that fruity cereal. Raspberry red, lemon yellow, orange orange. And I hated those big-headed little brats, especially the boy when he'd say, silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. I always wished he'd smile. Okay, one bowl won't hurt, because it really wouldn't have. I used to console myself believing the silly rabbit swiped a bunch between commercials. And I used to cross my fingers for the coyote, too, sometimes running like a maniac, his legs bulging from acne muscle builder. He'd get so close I could feel the roadrunner's tail feathers tickling his nose. But suddenly, meet me and the road was, all, was smoke all the way to the horizon. The coyote seemed so ruined, the way he'd nod his brow when, he pointed his when his pointed face went slack. I would shake my head and wonder if he ever got to eat anything, ever. And why didn't he give up on that bird or occasionally go for something slow? Being six or seven, I guess I understood the difference between cartoons and my life. Though I admit I couldn't figure out why they never talked about needing to go to the bathroom. Even the wise Mr. Peabody must have had to wet a tree sometime, and Sherman was a little boy like me. It's amazing the way I believed so well in the world, that basically it was a place to live happily ever after. But the only hard part was waiting to get old enough to stay up late and go outside whenever you wanted. I don't know about the world anymore. It doesn't look like anybody actually gets what he wants. But last Saturday, I was watching cartoons with my niece, and when the coyote started gaining, gaining on that fast axe little bird, I leaned forward in my seat just enough to catch myself feeling hopeful. <laughs>